pals, Rev here, and welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And today, we will be helping. Actually, I don't know if we are helping, but we will be going to Jack Dawes' resting place. If you remember, in the last last time, we uh, discovered a, a body, not actually a body, a ghost, and uh, said that they said he was headless. God, he wasn't. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna go through the Forbidden Forest. And uh, we're gonna fuck shit up. Okay. It's a deal. Yeah. There you go. Hello. Akio. Expelliarmus. Levioso. Incendio. Oh, thank you. Uh, oh no! Oh, baby. Incendio. Oh. Oh, oh, me. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised to see you. It would take the patience of a Hufflepuff to track down these pages. Well said. Now where do we go from here? Follow me. I shall lead you as far as I can, but I fear I may remain a tad reluctant to revisit the scene of my demise. Keep your eyes open for a birdbath. When you find it, say Intramuros. I think it's Latin. Or Greek. As you can imagine, I never paid much attention in school. Oh, Shall we? In Philippines. In the inner city. What the hell? Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks. A stone bridge, a waterfall, and, if I recall, a lake. You'll see. You've been very helpful. Thank you. Surprising how much of this is rather unfortunately coming back to me. <laughs> I already destroyed hmm. this one. Yes. You know, the closer we get, the more I'm remembering. Probably best I leave you to it. Simply stick to the path and keep a sharp eye out for that bird bath. Adieu. Is that Latin? Or Greek? Hmm. There it is. Just as Jackdaw described. Where the password intramuros. Intramuros. Wow. It reminds me of that part of the song machine. The Dragon Demon. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you a little far from home? Renrock knew you'd eventually lead us to whatever it is you're hiding. Uh, Attack! You won't uh, survive this, uh, my young uh, friend. Uh, roll away. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, 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 a little bit too many for my taste. Oh, shit! <laughs> Oh, all right, I'm gonna ask you. Protego, stupid one, Akio, Incendio, Expelliarmus, Levioso, your payback! Like a gang up on a student, is it? <coughs> no risk, those loyalists will report back to Ranrock now. Let's see where Jack Dora has led me. I wonder how big this place is. Looks like ancient magic. Yeah. Oh. Impressive. That must be where all this leads. Remarkable. 
God damn it. It's okay, Rocky. You go when you feel like it. And it's fixed. Wow. They even added the whole drink, the mosaics. I must be getting closer to Jack Doll's remains and those pages. Oh, that, I think I, I, <laughs> oh, excuse me. I think I know what, uh, made him lose his head. Oh. We meet again, Richard Jack Doll. Thank you for keeping these pages safe all these years. <laughs> oh my god, they fucked him up. Here it is. The map that brought your doom, Jackdaw. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Up oh, there they are. Accio! Expelliarmus! Incendio! Levioso! Accio! Oh shit! Incendio! Expelliarmus! Accio! Incendio! Levioso! Expelliarmus ought to disarm you brutes! Accio! Expelliarmus! Accio! Incendio! Oh. Levioso! <laughs> Expelliarmus! War! I just had to ask! Accio! Expelliarmus! Oh! Oh, oh damn it again oh. bastard oh. What that's unnerving. What's happening? Let's check. Being cheeky. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. Run! How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? It's the ancient kind. The kind that, you know, can do anything. I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? The middle of the ocean. Oh, there's four doors I have to choose from. Oh, damn. Can it be? So, wait. So, are these all the ones who used to, you know, used to have ancient magic? Now, like, I'm the only guy here? It's you. Has someone finally found our map chamber? I recognize you from the pensives. You're Professor Rackham. I am indeed. I must confess that I am surprised to see someone so young standing before me. I'm the same age that you and Isadora Morganark were when you started at Hogwarts. You've paid attention. And might I presume you share our ability? To see traces of ancient magic? Yes, sir, I do. 
As you have likely realized by now, our ability gives us a unique relationship with all forms of magic. We can access expressions of magic that few others can. Opportunities will arise that allow you to sharpen this rare talent. Do not squander them. I won't, Professor. Thank you. We have much to discuss. But first, a map found in a certain book led you here. Place the book on the pedestal. I don't have the book with me, sir. Hmm. That is unfortunate. I'm afraid we must pause our conversation until you return with the book. Very well. I'll retrieve the book right away. Good. We shall speak again once the book is in place. I found the pages and the map chamber. Why would I need the book? The book has a special thing. What are you up to now? Ooh, what you look like to know? <laughs> Know what to say, a wizard never uh, spells in. Damn it, I don't know what I was going for there. Kiss <laughs> and tell. So, oh, I should have went with, like, speak and spell. Oh, and here we I'm are. Back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor Fig will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't Let neglect me. my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with a book. Everybody uh, grab a broom, and we shall get started. Madame Kogawa. Kogawa. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madame Kogawa. Everyone, Kagawa. Yeah. please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. The Hello. goal of today is to remind Hello, all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey! Not a fan, I take it? Now, <laughs> let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up! Up! Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Ooh! Up! Up! One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. How, how, how do we land? No one taught us about landing. Good. Now. For your first Ooh. lesson, fly Ooh. through each ring in the courtyard. Ooh. Do take care. The brooms <laughs> are school property. Ooh. I want them returned in one piece. Ooh. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. It's like uh, ascending and descending. <laughs> fly me to the moon. <laughs> I'm having too much fun. <laughs> this is brilliant. Wish I had my own broom. So, I gotta wonder, how does it feel to sit on something like this? Is it comfortable though? Like, it's just a piece of stick, like right in between your crotch. You know Ooh. what I mean? It's not like it's an actual seat, a padded, like, seat. No, it's just a stick. So I guess like, you're, you're wearing a special type of pants? Well this? done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise. <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, no way! All this right. next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh my god! Flight speed, hold. Oh, just like, uh, oh, what you call that? Uh, cruise control. L3 is cruise control, all right. Ooh, baby! What a view! Oh my <laughs> god! Hello! Nice day for a flight! 
Yes, it is. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? This is awesome. I need to get goggles, though. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Yeah, that would have been nice. Oh my god! <laughs> so good. Can I add more speed, though? Oh no. Uh, is it R3? Whoa! Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. It's a Kraken! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's so cool! This is rather fun. It is. Oh, I wish I could do this in real life. Me too, kid. I just want to think we got our <laughs> well planes. Done. Have a moment. Oh, yeah, sure thing, pal. What is it? I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Stop Am it, I right it. in suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Damn right. <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Right, let's go. The oh. tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Oh my gosh. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? So good. It's so liberating. What the hell? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Is that right? Oh, flight speed toggle L3. Uh. <laughs> oh, now that's more like it. Oh. You sure you're not part hip? There's the famous part bridge. Hippogriff. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And oh, the yeah, gallery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying Ooh. tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. Oh. oh. This concludes our tour. Best hurry oh. back. Let's go. Let's go. How 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 do you like? Ooh! Already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Oh this oh oh. Here. God. I mean, too much fun. Wow. And where have you two been? Just wow. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for no! my I'm a good little. instructions. I failed you. Mr. Clopton, I'm I disappointed you, in you. Pop. You're in this class because you're, I... because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. Yes, ma'am. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Oh, thank you. I want to do it again. I want to do it again. Oh my god! Screw the blue flames. If I can. Sorry fly about like that this. business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Damn right it was. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. 
hate having to return the school broom after class. Right. Perhaps right. I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. I wish I could. Not? I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. That's right, brother. We're now we're now broom brothers. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is the right place. Get broom. I don't know about centaurs. Broom? Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Yes. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. That item is of the highest quality. Yeah, I'm gonna house pride. House pride. Oh, oh, oh. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Oh, yes, sir. Half full puff. Half well, full nearly puff. any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class. They all have their limitations. Right? You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go oh, on. Do you <laughs> tell. <laughs> Knew Mr. I was Alvin right about tell. you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth Mr. your Albie while. Weeks. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten right. Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Sort of thing. Why are you only Hufflepuff here? <coughs> How are your Hufflepuff? assignments coming along? It's already finished, Prof. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Also. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander. Uh, You've got uh. it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having enchanted books here. Akio. What's it, Akio? Oh, sorry. The pulso. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spell casting. Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley. Hmm. Somewhere away from prying eyes. Use Rebellio, probably. Rebellio? Rebellio? The 
forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? After you, Professor. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. It disappeared out of nowhere. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor. The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Lumos. There's no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. Hello. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. That sounds like a you can cast Why? Evanesco to vanish Evanesco. certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. What do you mean by vanish? They like, poop, they're gone. Vanesco. Splendid. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Evanesco. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Where oh, in dude. Merlin's name is that elf? Or like a biscuit, you know, like you eating Evanesco. Is that go. goodness? My old school bag. I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's still here. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. Oh, this like the spot. Oh, dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Well, excuse me, Princess. I hope that house elf can find us in here. I wish I can go back and see that, but you can't tell the sun so much. Is there any keys? Still the key. Ooh. Yikes! Careful! Huh? Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. <clears throat> <clears throat> Hello. Ah, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Hmm. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has Hi. been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The Room of Requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the Room of Hidden Things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. 
go. You've given yourself Damn. quite a canvas to work with. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. Not one that, should right? always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. Already has. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes, the magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Oh. 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 Bam. Conjuring, Very anything? good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's That's called where the spell a spellcraft. Craft. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. Uh, no, they I'm can explore. also be collected by wild. vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Oh, mm, quite the recycle items. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. I will be sure to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Careful. Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and, and we shall begin the lesson. Okay. I guess that's for the next stream. I gotta say, pals, the highlight of this one has been the flying. I love it. I can't wait to just go around and explore the world of Hogwarts Legacy on a room and eventually in the future on a hint of yeah, you know the deal, pals. I made you smile, please like the video, made you laugh, continue to subscribe, you can hit the notification bell to get updated whenever we do content like this. And if I really made you happy, consider sharing with your friends, have something to enjoy together. So next time, you're gonna learn more spells from Professor Weasley. Go out and check that. Actually, you know, let's go ahead and check the assignment from Professor Char. Damn it, more potions. And then also go to the Shadow of the Undead. Off or Sebastian, get the long range uh, burning spell. Yeah, pals. Until then, I'll see you in the next. Thank you for joining the stream. Bye bye.